a definitive Lexus, and the one that propelled the brand, the LS was totally upgraded for the 2018 model year. It presented a forceful rendition of the popular, scandalous, axle grille, a swoopy inside, and went to a totally V6 controlled lineup. The completely gas-fueled model including a twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter motor. That, as well as it received the stage of the dazzling Lexus LC500. Because of all that, the LS500 sounds like it has the possibility to be a top-of-the-line extravagant cruiser, as well as may have even increased a portion of the LC500's donning mastery. To discover, we invested some energy in an all-wheel drive show with the F-Sport bundle, which includes a meaner-looking grille, energetic seats and a tram sliding check ring to help us to remember the LFA supercar that initially utilized such a bunch. The main thing it needs is the taking care of updates selective to the back drive gas just LS. Relate editor Joel Stocksdale, I adore the Lexus LC500, similar to, a considerable measure. It was my most loved auto I drove a year ago on the grounds that it has the ideal mix of style, solace and execution. So realizing that the LS has LC roots, I was eager to drive it, trusting it would fundamentally be a 4 entryway adaptation of that auto. It absolutely looks like it. Despite the fact that not the dazzling mammoth the LC is, it's as yet a looker. It's forceful and scaring, especially with the dark F Sport grille. What's more, when you get in, you're welcomed by hip embracing cowhide seats and a conspicuous instrument group. Everything around you is calfskin, softened cowhide or metal and extremely intriguing, one of a kind shapes that make this Lexus have a craving for something else and unique to most extravagant autos. I especially like the skimming armrest, snatch handles and the entryways. Yet, things go into disrepair with the driving background. The twin turbo V6, albeit bounty intense, doesn't sound so flawless as the snarling V8 creature in the LC. It likewise has extremely drowsy throttle reaction, and the gearbox doesn't move as fast and freshly as in the LC, even in Sport Plus mode. The guiding declines to disclose to you anything either, feels too light, and what weight exists feels extremely simulated. The ride quality additionally doesn't exactly appear to know whether it needs to be lazy boy cushy or sports vehicle firm. It's a disgrace, as well, on the grounds that there are brief minutes and speedy corners when the auto begins to feel more sure, it's simply let down most different places by different odds and ends. In any case, hello, in any event it looks incredible. Senior Editor, Green, John Belt Snyder, my, this is a lovely auto, particularly within. The outline is intense, and not at all like anything different brands are doing. It won't not be some tea, simply like that grill yet I observe it to be incredibly and richly executed. The drifting armrests that Joel notices are attractive and present day. The way the entryway trim boards look layered, nearly as if they're being peeled away one by one, is something that appears to be straight out of a car exhibition idea auto, however it works here in this generation demonstrate. I additionally cherish the lines that swoop the distance over the dash and seem reflected in the sewing of the entryway trim. The way the controls are joined into the outline is intriguing, too. They're not the same as a ton of autos, particularly the haptic touchpad infotainment interface, however they're worth getting used to for the one-of-a-kind look they bear. I burrow the bend, push controls for drive modes and footing controls situated up on the sides of the instrument bunch. The little metal specks beneath the VAC controls are valuable, appealing and off the beaten path. I'd have never brainstormed an outline like this in a million years, yet I'm happy somebody did. While I concur with Joel's appraisal of the drive understanding, on the off chance that you need an awesome twin turbo V6, look at the Cadillac XTS V Sport we drove as of late, I sincerely couldn't care less that it's not an energizing auto to drive, regardless of the motor in the engine. It makes an agreeable space that'll voyage easily and rapidly to your goal. In style, no less. I just thudded it in eco mode, started up the journey control, and making the most of my environment, 